We Roll Along was a Stephen Sta Sondheim musical which opened in Broadway in 1981. Unlike other Sondheim musicals, it opened to negative reviews and closed after 16 performances. However, in the years since, it's been rewritten and has enjoyed several notable productions. Capital City Theater is presenting it next weekend and our Michael Bruno goes backstage at Merrily We Roll Along. one of the three friends that the story follows. Uh, she is a writer and she is also a theater critic. So she kind of has both sides of the coin and that also translates into her friendship with Frank and Charlie. Most friends fade or they don't make the grade. New ones are quickly made. Some of them were something to She's a lot of the time the middleman for the two of them as they start to argue. <laughs> and you especially see that uh, more in the beginning. Should, but not for too long. What's too long? If you're wrong, when you're wrong. The thing is, old friends do leave their brands on you, but old friends shouldn't compete. Merrily We Roll Along is about uh, three friends and about 20 years over the course of their lives. Uh, but the thing that's really interesting about the play is it travels backwards in time. So we meet these three friends as their friendship is really dissolving. All three of them are quite successful, but none of them are very happy. And we sort of trace back to find how they got there from this really very idealistic and sweet beginning where they thought they were all going to be both successful and remain friends for the rest of their lives. One day chums having a laugh a minute. One day comes and they're a part of your lives. Capital City Theater Conservatory is really a, a bridging uh, the gap between uh, youth skill sets and adult skill set. And what's really important about the conservatory production is that it puts these actors through the rigors of a professional musical theater performance. And they rehearse six days a week for eight hours. Um, they have to come in learning their music and then going over, at, you know, the next night they need to digest what the director has given them and their blocking and their choreography and their lines. And then the next day they come in and they don't start from where they left off the night before. They're they're working overnight to be building this show. So this is a great stepping stone for them to be working on a professional, you know, style, uh, rigors, and schedule, um, and exactly what they're expected to do when they get out um, in the world and work professionally then. But us old friends wants to discuss old friends. Here's to us who's like us. Dead. That's Sondheim, and that's Michael Bruno. That was yes, a rehearsal. Sondheim month. <laughs> yes, there right. you go. That, that was in the rehearsal space. That's, it wasn't the set. Yes, it is in the rehearsal space because they don't open until next week. But they're uh, they're doing a great job, and and the music is such, is so wonderful for this. And it's a lot of the songs you don't get to hear from Sondheim because the show was not successful when it first opened on Broadway. But they've reworked it, and now it's back. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and the, the director, Kit, uh, did a wonderful documentary all about the, the show and showing the kids that were actually in the, in the original production. It's really, really wonderful, interesting. Worth seeing. All right, Merrily, we roll along. It's at the Mitby Theater at Madison College. It's next weekend, August 5th through the 7th. Go to capitalcitytheater.org for tickets. All right, it's about that time. Three, Hi. two, <laughs> one, it's... it's Presents for you. Oh, presents. Yay! Sweet <laughs> treats. All right, guys, I will be there in about 15 minutes, okay? All right. All right. I'll be there. Okay, we'll miss you. <laughs> Have a great you. weekend. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. Yeah, it's going to be gone before you get there. <laughs> no! All right, I'm gone. I'm out of here. We'll be right back.